I have to say though, I thought it was longer that that's that. Yeah. S -s sleuth rank up. Apprentice sleuth. Yeah, I thought that one would be longer. Great to see you pull through with that case. Keep up with get keep up the good work. What the hell, man? Okay, we have nothing here. So what did we get? Quiz time. Who is the undead Digimon King born from nasty computer virus? Wait, it's my office mon. Huh. Yeah, I know he's a vampire and all, but I did not know he was born from a nasty compute computer virus. The more you know. I wonder where we have to go now. One minute. Give or take. Twenty-eight. Yeah, Nightmon. I never. I. I don't think I've ever used him before. Yeah, I want to get Nightmon. Ikakumon, Gabumon. Lalamon. Abi nine. Let's see. Try to figure out what to do. Let's see. Every six nine. Should we use him? I really want to have a powerful Digimon quickly. Why not? Doesn't really hurt anyway. We will lose this. What's it called? Wow, what's it called? <laughs> Shirt! Damn, I cannot. I remember words, words less and less now. Meramon! Increases damage from fire skills. Damn, I forgot, he is a... Uh... <laughs> well, I have a tad bit too many... Uh, ...data types now. Right, also, I want to go to Metal Man. So, have you got any medals? Sure do. 2000 yen. Oh, 50 medals. All right. I forgot about that. You get rewards. Now, let's get Astamon. Damn, he looks cool. It was really cool. Arcadia, okay, I. Okay, I did not realize it was that. At first, I thought it was a spider. <laughs> Ninja man, a kakumon. Kamimon, yeah, that's right. I wonder, was it Kivumon that was the minion of Puppetmon in the first series? Ah, Kalumon! 
Now I remember, he was in a Tamers, I think. The one that wanted to get be friends with Impmon, I think. Don't remember exactly. Damn, that he looks cool. Made Mon Sakuyamon, that was it. That was it. I still like her outfit. Shoujimon. Okay, you look like a Naruto character. I like it. Dragomon. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> so cute! Sumimon! You are in the first series, I think, with Flowermon. Or Floramon. Dokugamon. Dokugamon, that was it. Niyokimon. <laughs> okay, that, that was funny. That was funny. Pixie Bomb, Saka for sure. Damn, I really want to play the first game again. I hope they really make a choose remake of it one day. Okay, that's Pawn Chessmon. Looks kinda good. No, Magiramon. That looks like some kind of god Digimon, I think. Damn, he looks so cool! I wonder if you can get him in this game. Wait. Mechanorimon. So that's him. What was the one I heard when I was a kid? I don't think that was Mechanorimon then. Huh. Yuramon. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Okay, sorry about that. That was too. That took a long time, but. That was just too adorable. I really, I really like that. Never got, never going to get everyone, everyone, but can always try. Command, develop. Right. Uh, Eden, I've heard the view entrance. Okay. Main entrance. Here we go. Uh, Eden entrance. All right, it's this mission. Well, it should be fairly quick. But first, devel development patch. There's a, uh, there is an anonymous post on my Digiline. Stop looking at me! No reply. Yo, we got another case from the occult club. This one looks personal though. I think those guys might have taken a, a liking to us, given that we deal in the strange and unusual in our line of work. And in doing so, they are inviting yet more strange and unusual things into our lives. Starting with themselves, really. <laughs> But mom, I swear, there's something in there. I just felt it. Sweetie, look behind you and check for yourself. See, nothing there. 
Now, don't worry about it. Poor kid. Now, let's go. To the main main entrance. Or the real world. We can just put on the patches later on. One new case. Occult Research Club, Manaka. My digital line is weird. It keeps transmitting without me doing anything. Please find the cause. Oh, and we got a memory up. Hell yes. Wait, did you say night? It's almost looking like it's a nightmare on Elm Street. Hey, nice to see you again, Manaka. What brings you here by yourself? Uh, well, I... I think I might be caught up in a cybercrime. Cybercrime? Did you go to the police? I can't really. There are some uh, supernatural patterns or elements involved, I think. I understand. You made the right choice to come into us. Alright, give us the details. Okay, take a look at this. It's my log on Digiline. Alright, let's see what you got. <sighs> Should I go to my club tomorrow? They claim they do research, but all they really do is hang out and talk. It's only a club because everyone has similar interests. I should probably enroll in something a little more serious and go to that. And I could really use a hot manly boyfriend too. Oh my gosh, did I, did I just write that? Huh. What's so special about this? Keep going. You'll understand why. Could, can you have a crush on me? Lo 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 lo. No way. She has a one-track mind. She can't think of anything else but go occult stuff. Does that guy even have his eyes on street? He's such an ass. He has a real heart right in front of him and cannot take his eyes off me for even a second to notice it. Maybe I should seduce him. <laughs> I mean, I've got the goods. I'll give him a peek any time. Yep, definitely, definitely not a kid's game. Hmm, how do I put this? Your posts are not pulling any punches here. Putting my personal opinion aside, I otherwise don't see anything wrong with them. They look normal to me. Uh, the thing is, I did not write that stuff. What? They just randomly showed up. But they freaked me out so badly that I, that I deleted them. Ah, I hear you. Then does that mean your account was prob probably just hacked? Some 2-bit hacker problem. Probably did it to screw with you. Or maybe your computer was infected with... No, it isn't anything like that. Hmm, did I take it that this was this is where that supernatural part you mentioned factors into those these posts? Yeah. I was not the one who wrote those posts and put them online, but they are how I feel. What you see written there that's stuff that I think about but don't I don't express out loud. Okay, I get you. It's stuff that's hard to share with any of the other club members, basically. R right. Hmm, seeing as you're in the occult club, I'm sure you know about Ouija boards and whatnot, right? Your hands move against your will, sending you messages from the spirit world. Something like that could very possibly be happening to you. Look at the post some times on your log, those messages went out in the dead of night. You should, ha should have long been sound asleep by that point. Okay, then what? In the late 1800s, there was an academic by the name of Enrio Inoue, who pos posited these sorts of things can come from having multiple selves. Enrio Inoue, you mean the man who came up with mystery studies, right? I've shown off his work at, at the club if... 
Hold on. Are you saying I have a split personality? The politically correct term for that will be dissocia dissociative identity disorder, actually. I guess, I guess it makes sense. If I'm writing these posts at night without realizing it, that was explain it, but, but, hmm, huh, maybe it really is that. I've honestly been worried that might be deep down. But no, that's not it. Huh? This is not because of some mental issue. Here, take a look at this. Just try and find me. This was just now posted onto your account. It's a reply to what I wrote on your digiline. To the culprit. I'm a detective who's taken up Monica's case. Know that we will track you down and uncover your identity. No matter who you who or where you are, you cannot hide forever. You've been warned. Well, this conversation unfolded online as you and I were talking while you were not touching any terminals. That means you're not in the one behind those posts, let alone any mental disorder of yours. The real culprit is out there somewhere. Whoever's behind it is just a dumb troll, albeit an arrogant one like that. To quote Andrew Inoue's work again, what we got in it is a case of a fake wonder or someone trying to make this look more mystical than it really is. In other words, this is plain old hacking. You said that the contents of these posts are based on actual facts about yourself, yes? Well, I don't know about facts as much as just how I think and feel, really. Were you logged into Eden before you fell asleep? Y yes, I do that every night. Gotcha. Then the way I see it, I bet the culprit's been snooping around and hacked into your memory data in Eden. You can do that sort of thing in Eden? Well, not literally. At least not when you're lone wolfing it like your hacker here. Still, avatars in Eden are essentially digitized. Versions of people's mental data, so to speak. And so memory data hacks theoretically doable. Things take a bit of a different turn once the so-called supernatural enters the equation. Huh? Yeah, now it get, gets technical. Don't sweat it. For now, just log into Eden tonight like you normally would. I'll have my assistant waiting for you in the lobby. Alright, but what do you actually plan on doing? Oh, let's just say we're going to fox hunting. And our decoy will be... Our little maiden's deep, dark secret. <laughs> Looks like Manaka's still not here yet. Here's hoping this is not a sign of what's to come. Hmm? Oh, I had Manaka lay down our decoy. If the culprit is the type of person I suspect they are, they'll def definitely go for it. That means it's a pretty safe guess to say that they're going to log into Eden tonight. Once they're in position, it's just a matter of apprehending them. But that should not be a problem either. That's because Pete's going to work with us. <laughs> so cute! So damn cute! How's it going? Long time no see! Thanks again for what you did back there with the AC stuff. I had Pete here take a look at those posts the hacker wrote so he could learn their scent. Yep, turns out those messages had traces of a Digimon on them. Can't fool me. I'll let you know when the bad guy is close by. You can count on me and my nose. But of course, that's why I brought you the own board. This is so cool, working with a real life detective. I feel like a real boy wonder here. Eh? You don't know... You don't know who the boy water is? Really? Hey, I'm sorry. Sorry to keep you waiting. I did just like you asked and posted the message on my digital line, but... Can't you even see one, Yamon? 
or she, she, should she not be curious what, or she might know what a Digimon is. Am I really going to be okay doing that? <laughs> You're curious what she wrote, aren't you? It's fine, I'll tell you. She confessed her love to the hacker and also mentioned that she really wanted to meet him. That's Sasha. Yeah, it's a real blatant ploy on our part. But again, this guy thinks his hack hacker skills are hot stuff. He's going to want to verify Manaka's claims. Preferably by checking her memories directly. Hacking memory data takes some work. Though, you want to just take a look inside it. It will require actually directly reaching out and making contact with her avatar. That's the only way he could have done this. He, ha he had to have been touching her somehow in order to do the hacks. What's more, messing around with someone's mental data will take going to the core of Eden itself. The security there is supposed to be tight as, a, as it can be. It will take a real effort to break in. The hacker behind Manika's messages will have therefore had to be touching her for at least several minutes before leaving his handwork. That sounds so wrong! <laughs> Damn! I smell him! He's close by! Good. It's time to go hunting. Go investigate the surrounding area and get this person out of his foxhole. But first, let's check messages. Hey, it's true you broke a bone in elementary school trying to fly a kite. I didn't know that. That's just a rumor. Who told you that story? I don't really understand what's going on. Is the culprit, culprit really somewhere nearby? Oh, I smell him. We are getting close. I see you. There, right in front of you. Hurry up and do a scan. Yes, we got you now, Buster. You're not going anywhere. Ah, uh, for real? How do you find me? I knew it. The culprit's a little kid. Don't call me a little kid. That's rude. Hey, wait a minute. You're the one who spotted me here before, aren't you? Crap, how do you notice me? You're not supposed to be able to see me at all. Oh, so that's what happened, eh? Hey, my little assistant is so sensitive to digital waves and special networks. The culprit did not stand a chance of hiding forever. So, when the little girl said she sensed, felt someone touching her, he stole his, her mental data. Is that it? It's a cyber truth. Yeah, it's a she, not a he. It comes, comes with the job. But enough of that, we've got questions for you. Does that make you a detective too? Wow, you're so hot! Nice, you get your pr pr priorities straight, mate. <laughs> yeah, whatever, just answer my questions already. Who are you and how did you achieve such a complicated... I'm... What you call a genius architect? I'm not some lowly hacker or programmer. Do you know, more, do, do you know about the Baku Reborn service? It's a special service here in Eden. In cases like where a user either permanently leaves Eden or they die. The Baku Reborn service gathers all of that user's data and deletes it. And I am the one, I am the one who runs it. You don't have to act so surprised. Kids are just more attuned to the digital world than adults. I just studied on my own and joined groups that could trade info with, and soon enough I started working in corporate R&D. Oh, but the reason I'm considered a genius is not because I'm run the service. I'm also the one who designed it. 
Actually, what I said about bar Baku gathering and deleting abandoned user data is not entirely accurate. It actually does more. Not only does the gathering accumulate data pertaining to a given account, it also organizes it almost like it has a mind of its own. To be, to be honest, even I'm, not, I'm surprised by that. I never expected it to act so precisely and deliberately. It's a real case of the creation surpassing the creator, but that's how it should be with these sort of things, no? I follow you. Baku Reborn Service. Tell me, does the name Baku refer to the myth mythological creature that consumes nightmares? Like a tapir. Yep, you got it! I named it with that because data we don't want to show online is very much its own sort of nightmare. And by using that Baku on yourself, you could... Alright, I'm on to what you did now. You handed your avatar surface level appearance over to your Baku and let it consume it. That way nobody around you will be able to know that you were lurking. But you didn't let the purge that data outright. You controlled it yourself, making it hand it back like a dog returning prey to a hunter. Wow, you figure it all out! Yep, you got me. That's amazing though. I love it when I actually meet a smart adult. Oh, burn! I'm guessing you basically used that same trick to draw out Manaka's mental data then? Yeah, I copied it, but only did that with her short-term memory. The stuff you'd find around a person's hippocampus inside a real brain. Even something as advanced as Baku cannot break into a person's memory with an active mental data. That will definitely be crossing the line, and I understand why that's bad. I'll hand over what I copied to your partner, given the apparent interest in it sparked. It really is a Baku, isn't it? I think I more or less have a grasp of the current situation now. I am that I am not. I think that might be the best way to describe what your partner is to this world, if you catch my drift. Heh, <laughs> you know, I was thinking the same thing. Genius or not, even I cannot pur purposefully go out and architect life itself. Well, if you could do that, you will basically be a god. That thing was probably born as such by pure chance. I have no idea how it will end up growing moving forward. Cert certainly, at the very least, I have a feeling I'll lose control of it eventually. You really are smart. I don't just mean you know a lot either. There's a sharpness to your words that I admire. Can I trust you to let me deal with the Baku? Do you plan on disposing of it? We'll see. It depends on how things go. Okay, I trust your judgment. You'll find it uploaded onto a site. The password lock for it is lifted. The rest I'll leave it up to you. Wow, this little kid, he's the culprit? I never guessed it would be someone so young. Well, I, oh, uh, well, you see. Huh? Why did, why did I do that what I did with her account? Who, who cares at this stage? I won't do it again, I promise to even apologize for it later. I'll even give her some consolation money. So just leave me alone. You know, I just remembered. We met here in Eden before, haven't we? We talked for a little bit while I was waiting to meet, meet up with a friend. Right? So why did you do all that mean stuff? You're so smart, you sh should not be out committing crimes. Uh, um, yeah? Yeah, you're right, I'm sorry. That's what I was hoping to hear. See? You're a good kid at heart. Aww. What you staring at? I did it alright. I apologized. Let's call it uh, call it good at that, shall we? 
to still have work to do. I'm sending you the URL of the Baku Reborn service now. We're going to resume our hunt now. Only our goal here is to capture rather than kill our target. Monica, I want you to, I want you to go back. It's too dangerous for you to stick around. My assistant will take care of everything from here. Alright, I'm counting on you. We don't know how our prey is going to react once we get there. So you better be prepared for anything before we go. Yeah, this what uh, I wonder how I am going to if I'm going to cut this or how I will cut this episode. It's quite late, so I might just put it out as it is. Oh, we got got here immediately. I want to check something first. Over here. Yeah, still cannot go to the area I want to. Okay. Or... Yeah, I'm going to end this episode here. It's getting late. Sorry about that. Well, I'll see you later. Bye bye and take care. <laughs> Abrupt ending. Well, I decide... Let's not continue. <laughs> I was about, just about to go and render the episode, but <laughs> I want to continue. <laughs> Impman! If it gets long, it gets long. It is what it is. I also want to play. I really want to play. Almost. Now, can you kill him? Yeah, you can. Even though we are just vaccine. Nice. So we have Impman here. Wall crack three. Nice. Emerald, we can sell that for some money. And wall crack 2. Shame we can. It's weird we cannot use wall crack 3 on a level 2 wall. Kinda weird. Sleep recovery. I really wanted Sumimons. Completely. Oh, so close! A Gatling grenade user. Nice. I don't have function call, right? No, I don't. Damn it. Need a... Uh, damn. Neutral then. No! God damn it! Okay, that sounds annoying. I have no interest in fighting them now. Have much HP at least. That's useful. One or two more fights, then we can continue. Come on, please. Obviously, when I when I want to fight something, that's when I cannot fight anything. Oh wow! Ah, 
Ah, so close. Uh, Grand Rock. We should die. Yeah, oh, 500. Holy damn. That's one strong poop. Right, he's a fire type. Oh, Bray Point! I wonder how much H experience do you get from that? You get 10k from the one I have got from the beginning. Yeah, 10k. And 2.5. Nice! That's really useful. Kill. That's overkill. Should we do one more fight? Why not? I really want to get a Tyranno fight again. Come on, please. Okay. Or maybe one of those as well. If we get, can get Pabemon, that is also useful. Also, how much money do we get? I forgot to check. Eh, 300, not that much. Anti-stun. Eh, that's not really worth it. I don't care. Clockmon. There it is, our one and more only Baku. From the look of it, that kid's program has merged with a wild Digimon. <laughs> it's no use trying to reason in here. The programs erase whatever traces were left of that Digimon's own sentience. Digimon are easily susceptible to influence from man-made programs. It's one of the reasons why some don't consider them to be aut autonomous beings with their own sense of will. There's no getting around this one. You're just going to have to knock down some sense into it. Heaven's Thunder 2. Right, he is, uh. And I don't have. Well, you can... Let's use Meramon. Uh, Grand Rock. I think that's the strongest. Oh, so close. I want to use Meramon. I want to see his Flame Fist or whatever it's called. Now, Burning Fist. Physical attack, 85 damage to one foe, 30% chance for Chris. Oh! Yeah! One thousand yen. Okay. 24, 14. Alright. Okay, now that's over. Download the data and collect what's left of Baku. Once you're done, get out of there and come back to the office. It's hard to believe such a little kid will do a heinous crime like that. I'm still shocked. Heinous, huh? I guess I see where you're coming from. Even if it didn't mean any harm by it, what you did certainly broke the law. But that's all in the past now that we've exercised your account of that little starkle that haunted it. This case is closed now. We'll be holding on to the backup program in the meantime, 
If we can tune it up a bit, it could very well come in handy. But I still don't get it. Why did they go after me in the first place? <sighs> Do neither of you really get why that boy picked on her? In a way, there really was no reason at all. Except to say that it was love at first sight. He really liked you, Manaka. Huh? At first, he probably just wanted to get to know you more with all his heart. But as we saw, he was less mature than he'd like to admit. He wanted to tease and mess with you so you'd pay attention to him. At his age, it's a pretty standard mentality towards someone you like, really. Phew, that was so fun! Let me help up again if something else comes up, okay? I think I'd be pretty cool to be a detective at Cat Day Jumon like that. Then I beat my tongue. You def definitely helped us back there, so we have my thanks, Pete. Anyway, are you still not able to actually leave the confines of that kind of Broadway's intranet? Yeah, I think it has to do with how old the network protocols for the intranet are. It makes it hard to transfer data around. It could be I'm just stuck in the vacuum tube computer. Like how Baku was to that Digimon. Hmm. There's still so much to learn about what P truly is, it seems. Huh? Why do we call Pete Pete? Well, he's a cat. He was ex extracted from his own little time capsule where he was frozen asleep all that time. Besides, open enough doors and you're bound to... Do you really need a reason for it? Unlike the digital world, the real world is filled to the brim with things that have no real reason for being what they are. It's a simple pleasure in life that we are entitled to have as humans. Don't sweat it too much, just kick it back and enjoy it. Alright, now we can end this here. I have no clue what will happen now, so this will be interesting. 8 hours 48 minutes, damn. So, yeah, thank you for watching and yeah, this will be a very long episode, sorry about that. I don't have time to edit it too much to two parts. So, see you later and take care. Bye bye.